So hey guys, Jeff here, and today I want to share with you this article that's on NASA.gov. It's about Robert Simmon, a.k.a. Mr. Blue Marble. It's from about three years ago, and it's a little interview. They asked him a bunch of questions, and I found some of his answers rather interesting. So let's take a look. What do you do, and what is most interesting about your role here at Goddard? How do you help support Goddard's mission? His answer was... My role is to make imagery from Earth Sciences data, okay? He makes images. He does not take photographs. I turn data into pictures. I look for new interesting events that NASA satellites have seen or that are hidden in the latest data to find anything interesting that shows off NASA's unique capabilities, yeah, unique capabilities as in creating CGI Earth planets. It's not unique at all. This man is a piece of shit because this man is being used as part of the deception and he probably doesn't even know that he's being used like a tool, okay? He probably has no idea that the Earth is flat and that he is part of the grand deception. What is the coolest thing you've ever done as part of your job at Goddard? His answer is un. Believable. It's actually quite believable, but it's, it's just remarkable. The last time anyone took a photograph from above low Earth orbit that showed an entire hemisphere, one side of the globe, was in 1972 during Apollo 17. NASA's Earth Observing System, EOS satellites, were designed to give a checkup of Earth's health. <laughs> By 2002, we finally had enough data to make a snapshot of the entire Earth, so we did. The hard part was creating a flat map of the Earth's surface with four months of satellite data. Okay, so this guy is admitting that there has only been one photograph taken of the entire Earth one side of the hemis of the globe so that you see a perfect circle since 1972 this guy made the blue marble i believe in 2004 32 years went by and they had only taken one photograph of earth and it was during apollo 17 and we can prove how they faked these shots the apollo 17 shot is just a photograph taken of the earth cropped into a circle through a round window, okay? It's not a genuine photo. This guy is admitting that they have zero genuine photographs of the Earth. The hard part was creating a flat map of the Earth's surface. <laughs> then we wrapped the flat map around a ball. My part was integrating the surface, clouds, and oceans to match people's expectations of how Earth looks from space. This guy is admitting that they created a flat map and then wrapped it around a ball. This is precisely what I've been saying that they did. The GLOW model, the heliocentric model, is reverse engineered from the truth. And his job was to make sure that it matched people's expectations of how Earth looks from space. You know what that means? It means it doesn't matter if it's realistic. It doesn't matter if it shows a perfect sphere or that it's not a pear-shaped oblate spheroid. This wasn't about truth. This wasn't about reality. This was about matching people's brainwashed expectations of how Earth looks from space. That ball became the famous blue marble. The blue marble image that you see all the time is CGI. That is not a photograph. NASA does not try to claim it's a real photograph, but NASA has absolutely no problem with you believing it's a real photograph. And that's the biggest problem. 32 years went by, and they claim to only have one real photograph of the Earth from space. And I was listening to Robert Simmons tell us how he, uh, you know, photoshopped the pictures of the Earth. But then I also noticed something very strange. He also said that the earth is flat. Now, I know you're going to try to make excuses for him, but I believe in the psychology that it, he, this guy knows he was lying and it slipped out. So check this out. 
slap them all together. Just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, yeah, or just cloud. didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too steep. Just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds just are didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too steep. Just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too see through. So I just just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat, or the clouds are sort of too see through. There you have it. He said it looks kind of flat. I guess that just kind of slipped out. If you know anything about psychology, that type of stuff happens. I think it kind of came out, and it's it is not to be overlooked. I believe it's too. It's I believe it's a clue. I believe it's a clue because, I mean, it looks kind of flat. Now you can try to stick up for him and justify. Oh, he's talking about. You know, that's just Photoshop talk or something or whatever. But no, nah, I'm going to I'm gonna take this one as a clue. Looks kind of flat. And <laughs> we're talking about, about flat earth. Um, okay. Now, this interview was very difficult to find. And I was able to find the person that interviewed Robert Simmons. And I believe they're trying to remove this interview from the public but it's um if i can f i'd like to hear the whole interview because it appears the question was why did you photograph why did you photoshop the pictures of the earth and his response was was because it looked kind of flat and then he started talking his photoshop lingo but i don't have confirmation of this until I get the entire audio with no edits in it so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video presentation if you did please subscribe to my YouTube channel like the video and share it on your favorite social media sites there's a lot more to come so stay tuned and we'll see you back next time